Hey guys and welcome to the show. I'm Brennan here as you all know from Hemi Cruising. Uh, coming at you today with a new video. Um, I'm out here at the beautiful Lake Serene in Hattiesburg. Uh, I've discovered in my times as a pizza delivery driver that Lake Serene and Canebrake make awesome backdrops for videos. So we're out here today to shoot a video. Um, and the subject of today's video is something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. And that is a beater daily car and why you should have one. Um, as all of you know, my main car is a 2013 Dodge Charger RT. Um, I, I bought it in December of 2018 and I've been driving it for about a year now. Actually, no, I bought it in December 2017 and I've been driving it for a little over a year now and it's done me great it hasn't done me anything wrong but there's a problem with the charger that um made me consider buying a new car which would be the gas mileage um don't get me wrong the hemi gets good gas mileage on the highway 30 at times but in the city and for the job that i do it was just wildly impractical and the charger has always been my dream car really as evident by the mopar hat um, the Charger's really always been my dream car. I've always wanted one, and as my first car that I bought with my money, it's not something that I really want to destroy. So that being said, about a month and a half to two months ago, I went out and I bought this right here. My 1995 Honda Del Sol, and um, I picked this car up for $2,500. I drove all the way to Birmingham, Alabama to get it, um, and it is my new daily driver. It's an amazing shape, uh, save for a few little spots, I will get to those in a minute, but there's a reason why I picked this car over anything else. Let me get back in the shade. First of all, the Del Sol. Um, is not your ordinary beater car. If you follow along in the videos, you'll notice that several members of the Alliance have Del Souls. They are fantastic little cars. Um, I bought it uh, because I've driven both Dustin's and Douglas's Del Sol, and I loved them. I fell in love with the little things. They're they're quick for what they are. Um, they're cheap. You can pick these up relatively inexpensively. They are dirt cheap to replace. I'll get into the repairs that I've done in a few minutes and talk to you about how much that cost. And they're just fantastic, reliable little cars. You can dr run this thing into the ground and it would survive no problem. So um, I also bought it because there's a neat little quirk that this car does that no other car except for a Corvette has been able to do. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute too. But first let's talk about the total cost of ownership so far and what this car is doing for me. Now the Del Sol is based off of a 199 or a, the Del Sol is based off of Honda's Civic platform. It's basically the same thing as a Civic. It's got a Civic engine, Civic transmission, Civic drivetrain. It shares interior parts with a Civic. It's basically a Civic. What makes the Del Sol unique is this right here. The Del Sol has a Targa top, which means that you can undo the latches, pull the roof off the car, store it in the trunk, and basically you have a convertible. That is the main reason why I bought a Del Sol. Now I can't take the top off at work for obvious reasons, but on days like this when I'm off, it's amazing to be able to cruise with the top down, and it's just awesome. Oh, peep the Hellcat over there. Send it. The second reason why I've bought it is this car gets about 40 miles to the gallon. Doesn't really matter what I do to it. I can hone on it in the city in the worst five hour traffic on Highway 98 and it will get 30 miles to the gallon. I can get out on the highway and set the cruise control. Yes, 1995, it has cruise control. I can get out on the highway, set the cruise control, and it will get 40 miles to the gallon. It is really 
just an amazing car um, and the reason why I bought it I was spending about give or take about $30 every day every two days to run the charger for Domino's with this car $15 will last me two days of work so I'm spending about $30 to $35 a week compared to almost $60, $70, even sometimes $90 a week on fuel. This car is paying for itself. Um, as far as repairs go, this car was originally $3,900. I told the people that I picked it up from in Birmingham that I would come get it sight unseen for $2,500. They took my offer, me and Douglas loaded up one morning, went and picked it up, test drove it, drove great, except for a few minor problems. The brakes were kinda iffy, and the tires had to be replaced. Um, there was also a noise coming from the front end. We didn't know what it was at the time, so we bought it anyways. We drove it all the way back to Mississippi. It made the 270 mile trip just fine, no issues. Um, I bought a new set of tires for it that was $300 installed I bought a new set of drilled and slotted brake rotors and pads all the way around that was $80 bought a new brake booster and a master cylinder that was $150 and I put new wheel bearings in the front uh, because that's where my noise was coming from was the wheel bearings that was about $300 all of those repairs, if I would have done on my charger, would have easily been thousands. Um, so, this is, quite honestly, one of the cheapest cars I've ever owned. And that brings me to my next point. That is why you should go buy a beater car. Um, they're dirt, you don't have to go get the most extravagant thing. There are, I mean, this car does have minor cosmetic issues. For example, it's missing the Honda badge on the front bumper. Someone got mad at the previous owner and scribbled got into the hood, and the hood's going to have to be wrapped. There's a little dent right here. Um, the paint along the bottom is kind of peeling off. Uh, the car had a little incident with a shopping cart and scuffed the paint on the rear bumper. Uh, there's some scuffing here on the hood. It's missing the rear Honda badge. The trunk release doesn't work But overall this car is in extremely solid shape I didn't have to go do any sort of major body work didn't have to do any sort of major catastrophic repair fixes It has just been an amazing reliable car and for $2,500 it was really a steal and I just that I'm so in love with how cheap this thing is. It's freaking amazing. And honestly, I drive this more than I drive my Charger. The Charger has strictly been put on weekend duty for weekend shows, events, uh, whatever that may entail. I drive the Del Sol now more than I drive the Charger. That's how cheap it is to run this thing. And it's honestly amazing. So if you are looking for a way to cut your costs on driving every day and you don't want to destroy your fancy car go pick you up something cheap like this it doesn't have to be a Del Sol it doesn't have to be a Civic although I'd recommend a Civic they're great cars Honda cars are known for the reliability um, just go pick up anything that you know is gonna be cheap to repair you know it's gonna be cheap to you know fix you're not really worried about beating it up that much and go buy it, fix it up, and enjoy it. And that's what I'm doing. I, I'm enjoying every moment that I've owned this car. Some people think that me buying this car was a mistake. I don't think it was a mistake. I think I have done excellent with this thing. But that's all I really wanted to talk about about it. And just, I just wanted to show the car off, um, kind of give you a little bit of an overview. Uh, I will go over a few more things. Uh, it does have the D16 uh, Z6 engine in it with a five-speed manual um, it came with these uh, Excel wheels and you can see the brake rotors and that I've put on the car and the brake calipers it came with new headlights already installed I put LEDs in the aux lights um, the interior is in great shape it had VTEC trim seats swapped into it 
no major problems in the interior the shifter feels great i put a new radio in it overall it's just in great shape i just wanted to make this short little video telling you about the del sol about um my endeavors i will be at cars and coffee biloxi next month april the 7th i'll be out there um, i'll have the charger the alliance will be out there and it'll be a great day so i'm looking forward to that if you liked the video drop a like on it if you didn't like it well oh i, I can't really tell you what to do about that uh, leave your comments down below and subscribe to get notified whenever i post more content my name is brandon and i will see you guys in the next video peace out